Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3209, where we have 18 moves only to collect 6 ingredients. This is listed as a hard level, we can tell by the skull and the stripes, and I'm just wondering how to do 6 in 18 moves. The ingredients are on the board, but I have to get them through this frosting, this thicker frosting, and through these popcorn in order to be collected, and I've got conveyor belts that are going to kind of whisk them around. I've also got ticking time bombs to deal with. Uh, this is listed as a hard level, and I have the feeling that I may be stuck here for a while trying to figure this out. I'm making moves here, although I don't know that that's the best. I'm a little bit worried about opening these up, but I think I have to in order to get things producing, but I think I want to focus on the sides. And specifically because of the way this conveyor belt, because we have two conveyor belts going this way, I think I want to focus on the left-hand side of the board to see if I can open this up as quickly as possible. So here we go. We're dropping things in. That's good. But I've still got this popcorn to get through. How in the world? Oh. I'm making stripes, but I don't know why I'm making them horizontally. That's not going to help much. Now I've got me taking time bombs that I totally zoned out about. Oh, they're not bad. I've only got two that can harm me at this point in time because I have so few moves. Oh, let's blow things up, get down here. But without hitting these popcorn, there's no way I'm going to be able to survive this. Although I would only have to hit one popcorn and open up one spot. Now, I'm not saying that it would be easy to do to collect everything in, in one spot. It would be possible, but I don't think anything about this level is going to be easy, no matter how I attempt to tackle it. Yeah, I have not made enough advances towards this popcorn, obviously. But I've gotten a feel for what this board is like, and I do think that it's a good strategy to, to work over here, although I'm willing to work anywhere I can get some specials to help me. All right, yeah. Uh, this is one where I'm going to not show you all of my failures because I think that there are going to be a lot. I'm going to pause the recording and the next video that you see either will be something instructive that I figured out a strategy or found a way to get things done or, or learned of a new pitfall or it'll be the win. There'll probably be a few more fails though, so if you just want to see me beat it, I'd advance to the last about three minutes of this recording. All right, so here we go again, and this seems like the popcorn to aim at, and it just so happens that I have got a fairly decent start to this, uh, because I do think that I'm going to need as much chaos on this board as possible. I took this, even though I had the opportunity to make a color bomb, and thankfully I still have it, because color bombs are helpful. But I also understand the necessity to get things done when I see that I've got the ability. I could make a wrapped candy, which is more volatile, but I'm going to go for this stripe again. I want to get this area open. If I could get two popcorn open in the same spot at about the same time, then I might be able to get, you know, a color bomb, color bomb combo and that would be wonderful. I'm going to kind of breach this area and try to get these ingredients down here. Oh, now what's going to happen? I've only got this one spot. There's no way I'm going to be able to take this out, right? Like if this drops down and then it comes over here, I can't match it with anything and I can't switch it with the ingredient. So I'd be better off just taking out a color with this. and then taking out green, which drops this down and helps me open more stuff. Now that I've got a gap, I can do a better job. And I will use this and just take out all purple. There we go. Oh, I'm getting color bombs and that's what's helping. Take out all orange. Now these have to get on the conveyor. Oh, they're coming up over here. They're on the same conveyor. They don't switch down to here. 
These are separate conveyors. So this is exciting because I've got this part cleared out already. So this is coming where I want it to. And now what I'd like to do is try to make some specials that can help me here. I'm going to do this. Yeah, this looks awesome and wonderful and I think I got it figured out. Uh, all I have to do is get one of these blue to go vertically and one of these blue to go vertically. The odds are with me. I've got three in each spot, but let's just do a double check. This one's going to go horizontally. We start from the top upper left hand corner and like we're reading a page, we go across and then to the next row down and then we keep doing that alternating between uh, horizontal and vertical with every available blue. The only unavailable blue that I see is this one because I'm using it up. This will turn into a stripe. So let's do this. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Yep, that works. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Doesn't work. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. That works. Oh, and this one. <laughs> that first one up there, that's vertical. <laughs> that should do it. Okay. There. We got it done. And I am so amazed that I was able to get it done so quickly. All in all, that was just my fifth playthrough for recording purposes. Um, I know that there was luck involved, but I also know that I hit upon a pretty good strategy and worked that strategy of focusing on a particular area and trying to clear that out. And then, of course, I learned about the um, conveyor belts, which helped me. I didn't want to have to ride the conveyor all the way from the right-hand side. So that's how I beat this level. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, I ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.